hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve look for the solution of these two problems 351 and 352 from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston and the problem says that a farmer uses cables and winch pullers b and e to plumb one side of small barn if it is known that the sum of the moments about the x-axis of the forces exerted by the cables on the barn at points A and D is equal to 4728 pound feet, determine the magnitude of the tension in this wire DE when TAB, the tension in wire AB, has a magnitude of 255 pounds. And similarly, we have to repeat the same problem, but in this 352 TAB value is 255 instead of 255 pound it is 306 pounds now we are given that uh, in this particular problem that the magnitude of the tension in wire AB is 255 and we are required to find the tension in wire DE and further it is said that the sum of the moment about the x-axis due to these two tensions is equal to 47.28 pound feet. Now, as you guys can see that um, if I resolve these two tensions into their respective com components, TABX in the negative x, as you guys can see that the this um, point C is, if we look from this side, then point C is towards the left of point uh, A. So this means that we need to move uh, towards the left from point A to reach that point C, right? So this means that the X component of uh, TAB is in the negative X and the Y component is in the downward direction since this uh, rope, we are considering this vector. So this vector is going in the downward direction along the Y and similarly the Z component is in the positive Z direction. So this is the positive z, this is positive y, and this is positive x. Similarly, if you look into the <clears throat> force from D to E, the tension from D to E, <clears throat> so this point F is, if you look from this side, then this point F is on the right of point D. So this means that the x component is in the positive direction of this TDE. Similarly, the Y component is in the downward direction since point F is below point D. So we need to move in the downward direction to reach that point F from D. So the Y component is in the negative Y and the Z component is in the positive Z. Since if we look from this side, then this point F is on the left of that point D as well. So we need to move in the positive Z direction. So this is the X component of tension in YDE. This is the Y component and this is the Z component. And now we are given that the sum of the moments of these two forces about the x-axis is 4728 pound feet. Now if we observe these six components, then only two of the um, components are producing the moment about the x-axis. And these two components, th those two components are the Z components. This Z component and this Z component. They are producing the moment about the X axis. Because you guys can see that this X component of TDE and this X component of TAB, they are parallel to the X axis. So they cannot produce the moment about the X axis. The, the forces which are parallel to a given axis, they are not going to produce the moment about that given axis. So in this particular case, this component which is parallel to the x-axis and this component which is parallel to the x-axis, they are, they are never going to produce the moment about the x-axis. Similarly, the y components, this y component and this y component, they are intersecting with the x-axis. So the, the, their moment arm from the x-axis or we can say that the perpendicular distance of these two components from that x-axis is zero, so they are unable to produce the moment about the x-axis as well. So only the z components are producing the moment about the x-axis. Now this TAB z component is producing the moment about the z axis uh, about the x-axis in this direction. So this means that they are producing the moment about the x-axis in this direction. And if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction 
then the thumb must point out in this direction. So if we look from this direction, then this component is producing the counterclockwise moment about the x-axis. And similarly, this component is producing the counterclockwise moment about the x-axis. We come to the conclusion that this component is not producing the moment, this component is not producing the moment, this is not producing the moment, and this is not producing the moment. So let me erase these, right? So they are not producing the moment. So th those components which are not producing the moment, we don't need them. So let me erase them. So now you guys can see we are left with with this and with this since they are producing the moment about the x-axis. Now the perpendicular distance of this component from that point uh, from the x-axis is this distance which will be the moment arm and we know that the the scalar formula for the moment is r perpendicular times f or we can say f times uh, r, r or we can say r multiplied by f simply that is the moment. So now this is the component multiply by this distance which is the moment arm so 12 times tabz and for this one the moment arm is this which is 14 feet so 14 multiply by tdez so this is and we can equate this to 47 28 pound feet now we have to find the z components for this tension and this tension now we know that TAB will always be equal to its mag TAB vector will be equal to its magnitude times the unit vector from A to B and similarly the magnitude times the unit vector is the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude. So this is TAB, this TAB magnitude. Now we have to find the position vector from A to B. Now to find the position vector from A to B we must start from A and we'll try to move in the direction. Uh, along the x, y, and z axis to reach that point B or C. Because we can we can take T A B or we can take T A C. Because it won't matter because the position the the unit vector is along A B or A C. So we can we can find we can write T A B into position vector from A to C as well, right? So that that will give us the same answer. So we can say that uh, we, we, we will replace this B by C, right? So we are going to find the position vector from A to C. So we will try, we will try to move from A in the X, Y, and Z direction to reach that point C. So from A, we need to travel 12 feet in the negative Y direction, 12 feet in the negative Y. So here we have minus 12 J. So 12 feet in the negative J direction. So we will reach here. Then from here, we need to travel 12 feet in the positive z so plus 12 k and then from here we need to travel 1 feet in the negative x direction so minus 1 j so this is the position vector from a to c let me write it as a to c so the position vector from a to c and its magnitude will be the magnitude of the position vector from A to C will be 1 square plus 12 square plus 12 square under the square root which comes out to be 17 and this will be 17 feet and similarly these are in feet as well so feet feet cancels out the unit vector is a unitless quantity and this is TAB which will have a magnitude in pounds so now I can multiply this TAB with each and every component so we will have minus TAB divided by 17 this is 17 minus 12 TAB divided by 17 and plus 12 TAB divided by 17. So we are interested in the Z component of TAB. So TAB, we can write that TAB Z component is having magnitude of 12 times TAB divided by 17. Similarly, we must find TDE as well. So the tension from D to E or we can say that the tension from D to F that will give us the same value. So TDE will be equal to TDE magnitude multiplied by the position vector from D to F divided by its magnitude. So again, we will find the position vector from D to F by traveling along X, Y, and Z starting from D. So from D, we will move 14 feet in the negative Y, so minus 14 J. Then from here, we will travel 12 feet in the positive Z so plus 12k and then from here from this particular point we need to travel 1.5 feet in the 
in the positive axis. So this is positive, remember, right? So let's let's make it positive. Now this magnitude is 1.5 square plus 14 square plus 12 square. This is 18.5 feet. This is in feet, and these are in feet. So ultimately, the units will be in pounds, right? And similarly, we can say that this will be 1.5 divided by 18.5 into TDE. So 1.5 divided by 18.5 is 0 0.081 TDE. Again, 14 divided by 18.5 is 0 0.757 multiplied by TDE. We are going to multiply this TDE and divide each component by 18.5. So we get this TDE. And remember that the units are in pounds and here the units are in pounds as well so this is in pounds now we are interested since since we have got this formula mx and this is 12 tabz plus 14 tdez and this is equal to uh, 4728 pound feet right so this is that formula here and now we can say that uh, 12 times T A B Z. So first let's find T A B Z for this 351. So let me erase this and let's write that general formula which is this equation one. Let me copy it. Let me paste it here. And now let's write the general formula for both the problems. So M X is equal to 12. T A B Z is 12 times T A B divided by 17 plus 14 and TDE Z is this we can write that TDE Z component is 0 0.649 TDE so we will write that this is uh, multiply by 0 0.649 TDE and this is equal to the problem says that the sum of the moment about the x axis is 4728 4728 pound feet now the 351 problem says that solution for 351 that says that tab is equal to 255 pounds now we will just put uh, TAB 255 pounds in this formula here so we can say that this will be 12 into 12 into 255 divided by 17 plus 14 into 0 0.649 we want to find TDE for both the problems this is equal to 47.28 pound feet so this will be we can say that 14 let me simplify this so this will be multiply 12 multiply 255 divided by 17 this gives me 2160 and this on the other side of the equation will become negative so we can say that um, 14 into 0 0.649 TDE is equal to 47.28 minus 2160 and if you want to find TDE we have to divide both sides of equation by 14 into 0 0.649 so 14 into 0 0.649 this will cancel out this will give us TDE so TDE is 47.28 minus 2160 divided by 14 into 0 0.649 this gives us TDE for problem 351 is 282.6 or we can say approximately equal to 283 pounds and similarly for problem 352 TAB is equal to 306 pounds so 306 pounds now now putting here 306 and we will get and we will solve it so now we will have 47.28 minus when we put uh, 12 in let me write it like this 12 multiply 12 multiply 
306 divided by 17 so this is now 2592 this is 2592 and on the other side of the equation it will become negative so this will be 2592 so we can say that uh, 47 28 minus uh, 2592 divided by 14 into 0 0.649 so this gives us approximately TDE equal to 235 pounds. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope all this discussion will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps. Do like this video and subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Baron Johnston.